Okay, well, since unfortunately I had an error in the GoPro, and I lost all of the footage and how to clean these and how to take these things apart, but it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. You have uh, your bearings with braces that go on the inside of your hub here. And I cleaned the grease out by taking a blower and just blew all the grease out. Now I'm just trying to wipe it out. You can see inside there, there's little, little titties in there. That's where your race sits. But your race will sit down inside of there. And that's what holds once your race down as far as you know it's gonna go. So that's that's pretty easy. You can take them out with a punch, uh, be able to punch them out. Um, that's how I did it. So you can do it however way you get that you see fit. But I already got one wheel done. And I'm trying to clean some of the grease and stuff out of here. This one here was a side that the bearing exploded, so there was a bunch of bearing pieces and little pieces of metal and I don't want that to get back into the new bearing so but to recap I bought a kit or actually I bought all of the other parts online to redo everything so I got new bearings new races new collars new seals new sleeve uh, bolt and nut uh, all together everything cost me like Right around you 200 bucks or something like that uh, and I bought it from uh, the skag skag parts net I wanted to keep everything all skag now you can find them your cheaper kits on your Amazon uh, but I was kind of worried about the fit of uh, you know, the bearings and you know, the seals and everything so um, so that's why it, that I opted you to go this route so Anyway, so you take your seal, or you take your race, and you put it as tight as you can in here. I'm using a driver. I have a bearing driver, or you know, a race driver. Not a race car driver, but just you know, a race driver. Put it down on the ground here, and uh, try to hit it as straight as I can, which could be a chore, so. Let's see what we can do here. Let's drive these back in. Drive them down as far as the, to where those little nipples are. And you don't hit your hand. Okay. Flip it over, let's do the other side. So what I did, you had to clean out, you had the grease. I took a blower, put it up here in the box. That's off and blew it out, so. It looks like that, uh, that bathtub scene from, uh, from the hangover. But I won't go into that, so. You got that. Take her seal. Do the top of that. Take our board 
We use that to drive the seal in top, kind of make it as flat as we can. Flip it over, do the other side. Take your collars and slide them in here. That way there you the hold for a little bit while you're trying to weasel the wheel back on. Get your new sleeve, nut and bolt, and go over here to assembly. So you put your sleeve in here, slide it all the way through, take your bolt, Now I always try to put a, a new nut on here just because once you take one of the other nylon with nuts off, once they're off, they're pretty much no good. Clean your hands up a little bit. So take her. Now you don't want to tighten these up to where that they're super tight. But you want to be tight enough that you still get some free spin. But you're not going to go off and lose it. Okay. So you still get some free spin. I probably can back this off just a hair. And once you have the nuts on there, it's, it's not going to go nowhere. So, and then you go back, do this for the other side. Should be it.